فلقد يسرنا القرآن للذكر فهل من مدكر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear brothers and sisters, inshallah, we will be commencing from verse number 104 of Surah Ali Imran. <clears throat> Pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this session most productive and beneficial to each one of us. Kindly pay attention to the words and the meaning of the verses. Keep your eyes focused on the Musaf. Keep your translations aside and write the difficult words on the Musaf itself beneath the corresponding Arabic words in pencil. A'uzu billahi minash shaitan al-rajeem. وَلْتَكُمْ مِنْكُمْ أُمَّةٌ يَدْعُونَ إِلَى الْخَيْرِ وَيَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَأُولَٰئِكَ خُبُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ وَلْتَكُنْ and let there be وَلْتَكُنْ and let there be مِنْكُمْ among you أُمَّةٌ a group of people يَدْعُونَ إِلَى الْخَيْرِ inviting towards good inviting towards good Waya Maruna Bil Maruf and enjoining to right and forbidding from Munkar, evil. Wa ulaika humul muflihun and those they are the successful ones. And let there be among you a group of people inviting towards good and they enjoin to what is right and forbid from evil. وَأُولَائِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ And those, they are the successful ones. اور ہونا چاہیے تم میں سے ایک جماعت, ایک گروہ جو دعوت دے بھلائی کی طرف حکم کرے نیکی کا اور روکے برائی سے اور یہی لوگ وہ فلاح پانے والے ہیں. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says at any given period of time there should be those sincere believers who will be inviting the people towards good, which means inviting the people towards Islam. And they will enjoin what is right. And they will forbid from evil. Whenever they see anything wrong, anything evil, anything sinful happening, اور وہ لوگوں کو نیکی کی طرف رغبت دلائیں گے حکم کریں گے وَأُولَائِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ And those people only Allah calls them as those who are successful مُفْلِحُونَ وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ تَفَرَّخُوا وَاخْتَلَفُوا مِن بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَهُمُ الْبَيِّنَاتِ وَأُولَائِكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَزِيمٌ يَوْمَ تَبْيَزُوا أُجُوهُ وَتَصْفَدُوا أَكَفَرْتُمْ بَعْدَ إِيمَانِكُمْ فَزُوْخُ الْأَزَابَ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَكْفُرُونَ And not you become كَلَّذِينَ Like those تَفَرَّخُوا وَاخْتَلَفُوا Who became divided and disputed مِنْ بَعْدِ From after مَا جَاءَهُمُ الْبَيْنَاتِ From after what came to them, the clear signs and those for them, Azabun Azim is a punishment great. Yoma Tabyazu Uju. The day shall become white, some faces, which means it will become bright, some faces. And some faces will be Tasvaddu Uju. And will become certain faces black. Will become bright, some faces, and black, some faces. Then as for those will become black their faces in bracket it will be asked or it will be said Did you disbelieve after your faith? So taste the punishment with what you used to takfurun disbelieve. I repeat the translation follow it carefully. And not you become like those who became divided and differed from after what came to them, the Bayinat, the clear signs. And those for them is a punishment, Azim, great. The day will become 
white some faces it mean bright some faces and black some faces famal ladinas waddat then as for those will become black their faces in bracket it will be said akafartum bada imanikum did you disbelieved after your faith fazukul azab so taste the punishment with what you used to disbelieve aur na tum ho jana un logon ki tarah jo tafraqa aur ikhtilaf mein pad gaye baad jo aa chuka unke paas wazeh nishaniya aur yahi log unke liye azab bada jis din sufed ho jayenge yani roshan ho jayenge kuch chehre aur siyah ho jayenge kuch chehre phir rahe wo log jinke siyah ho jayenge unke chehre bracket mein unse kaha jayega ab puche jayega kya tumne kufr kiya iman lane ke baad bas chako azab be sabab jo tumne kufr kiya so allah subhanahu wa taala is telling the believers you do not become like those who disputed and differed in the matters of islam always remain united don't rake up controversial issues and for gaining cheap popularity divide the umma this is a condemnable offense thodi si shohrat ke liye popularity ke liye tum ummat ke darmiyan mu'minon ke darmiyan phoot mat dalo tafraqa mat dalo ikhtilafat mein mat padho behas aur mubahise mein mat uljho jabke allah subhanahu wa taala ne din ko wazeh taur par tum ke sath tumhare samne rakh diya aur jo koi aisa karenge unke liye bada azab hai and further allah says on the day of qiyamah there will be some faces which will be glowing with brightness and there will be some faces which will be black in color darkened and for those whose faces would be darkened allah would ask them akafartum bada imanikum did you disbelieve did you commit what is this did you disbelieve yeah it refers to did you create this unity which was simply disallowed akafartum because creating this unity in the umma is an act of kufr ittihad ko barbaad karna ye bhi jo hai kufr ka jo hai ek amal hoga so allah is asking afakar akafartum bada imanikum kya tumne kufr kiya iman lane ke baad which means did you get into all these type of acts of disunity to create controversies and divide the umma and you differed in every matter without accepting it so allah will then say fazukhul azab bima kuntum takfurun so taste the punishment of the hell fire with what you used to disbelieve further allah says wa amma alladhina biyazat wujuhuhum fa fi rahmatillah hum fiha khalidun tilka ayatullah natluha alayka bil haqq wa ma yuridu zulman lil alamin walillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi lars wa inallahi turjaul umur and as for those will be white their faces or brighten their faces fa fi rahmatillah then they will be in the mercy of allah hum fiha khalidun desha deshal in it shall abide they in it shall abide forever hum is they fiha is in it they in it shall abide forever tilka ayatullah these are the verses of allah we recite it alayka bil haqq upon you with truth wa man lahu yuridu zulman lil alamin and not allah intends injustice to the worlds and not allah intends injustice to the worlds and for allah only belongs whatever in the heavens and whatever in the earth wa ilallahi turjaul umur and towards allah return all matters and towards allah return all matters phir rahe jiske chehre sufed ho jayenge ya roshan ho jayenge to wo allah ki rehmat mein honge wo usme hamesha rahenge ye allah ki ayatein hum padh kar sunate hain aap par haq ke sath और नहीं अल्लाह इरादा करता जुल्म करना 
جہاں والوں پر اور اللہ ہی کے لیے جو کچھ آسمانوں میں اور جو کچھ زمین میں اور اسی کی طرح اور اللہ ہی کی طرف رجوع ہوتے ہیں تمام امور اور اللہ ہی کی طرف رجوع ہوتے ہیں تمام امور سو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ کلیئرلی مینشنڈ ایز ہوز فیسز ول بی گلوئنگ ود برائٹنیس اینڈ ہوز فیسز ول بیکم ڈارک اینڈ واٹ ول بی دا پنشمنٹ گیون ٹو دا پیپل ہوز فیسز ول بی بلیک Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Allah will tell them fazukul azab so taste the punishment that means they'll be thrown into the hellfire but those people who maintained unity in the umma those people who did yaduna ilal khair yamuruna bil maruf wa yanhauna anil munkar that means they invited the people towards good enjoined right what is right and forbade from evil and they kept the entire group together and remained united without breaking up without disuniting today we find a lot of organizations islamic organizations who begin with in good faith to spread the message of islam to do the work of dawa after a period of time they break up the entire unity is in shambles aur puri jo hai wo tanzeem muntashir ho jati hai vertical splits paida hote hain aur groh bandi paida ho jati hai groups are formed polarization takes place and the good work which began in earnest suffers a setback on account of you giving space for shaitan who created disunity in the ummah and who are the people who are culprits allah says such people's faces on the day of qiyamah will be black because they committed an act of kufr and on account of them the good work of islam suffered a setback for which they will stand accountable on the day of qiyamah we'll have to shed our ego first and foremost we should shed our ego ah i said this it was not accepted therefore i am leaving the group sorry this is not the way you are entitled to give your opinion but only on consensus the decisions will be taken however strong your opinion may be with however forceful evidences and and uh, you may substantiate your opinion well it's well taken but don't expect only your opinion always to be accepted ye hone wali cheez nahi hai so first thing you should accept you should understand that when you work together in an islamic organization which works exclusively to seek the pleasure of allah you should shed your ego and you should accept the majority opinion and the decision taken and you should be obedient to the leader of the group and you should work as a team seeking recognition appreciation and rewards exclusively from allah and allah alone these are some of the basic fundamentals which has to be have to be kept in mind but anybody who violates these basic fundamental rules and bring about disunity in yuma or get into controversies or get into ego issues and disunite and create problems for the organizations to move forward such people their faces will be blackened on the day of qiyamah so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling the prophets also these are the verses of allah we recited upon you with truth this is a key. these instructions have to be adhered strictly and further allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the same time is very fair and just and never intends injustice to the people and whatever in the, the heavens and the earth the ultimate owner is allah all decisions are finally taken by allah and allah subhanahu towards allah only return all matters and decisions are taken by allah alone kuntum khaira ummatin ukhrijat lin nas ta'muruna bil ma'ruf وَتَنْحَوْنَا عَنِ الْمُنْكَرْ وَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَلَوْ آمَنَ أَهْلُ الْكِتَابِ لَكَانَ خَيْرًا لَهُمْ مِنْهُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ وَأَكْثَرُهُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ You are the best nation or a group who you means Muslims, you believers. You are the best nation or a community or a group اُقْجَتْ لِلنَّاسِ have been brought forth for the people tamuruna bil maruf you enjoin 
what is right al-munkar and you forbid from evil billah and you believe in allah walo amana ahlul kitab and had believed the people of the scripture lakana khairan lahum surely it would have been better for them surely it would have been better for them minhumul mu'minun among them are believers wa aksaru humul fasiqun and most of them are defiantly disobedient tum behtareen ummat ho nikale gaye logon ke liye tum hukum karte ho neki ka aur tum rokte ho burai se aur tum iman rakhte ho allah par aur agar iman laate ahle kitab to behtar hota unke liye unme se kuch iman wale hain lekin aksar unme se hain na farman so allah subhanahu wa taala is calling the believers with a very honorable label giving them a very honorable label calling them as qari umma allah has used such kind of honorable labels for the believers we have seen we have seen them in surah baqarah in verse number 143 allah calls the believers as ummat e wasat shuhada al nas and here allah is calling them as qari umma these are some of the most honorable labels given to the muslim umma ye bade اہمیت کے حامل القاب ہیں جو ایمان والوں کو دیے گئے امت وسط شہداء الناس اور خیر امت بن اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی از گیونگ سچ ڈگنیفائیڈ لیبلز ٹو دی مسلم امہ دین اللہ ایکسپیکٹس ا لاٹ اف ہارڈ ورک ان دی سروس اف اسلام فرام دیم ایز ویل دیز لیبلز ار ناٹ جسٹ گیون آؤٹ اف فینسی just to please them but it has been given with a purpose with an objective in mind thereby sending a very strong message that you believers are not like the normal human beings you are role models for them you will have to stand out in terms of an example you should be in the forefront and lead by example and the best way to justify this label of khaira umma is you should enjoin what is right and forbid from evil and you have been brought forth for the entire humanity not for muslims alone for muslims and non muslims to all those to whom the message has to reach to make behtareen ummat insano ke liye duniya mein allah ne tumhe le aaya sirf musalmanon ke liye nahi balki puri insaniyat ke liye musalman gair musalman sab ke liye tum role models hona chahiye misali zindagi tumko guzarna chahiye rasul akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam ke bataye hue tareeqe par quran ki roshni mein apni zindagi ko chalana chahiye aur tum لوگوں کو دین کی دعوت دینا چاہیے نیکی کا حکم کرنا چاہیے برائیوں سے روکنا چاہیے اور تمہارا ایمان اور بھروسہ اللہ پر کامل ہونا چاہیے یو نیڈ ٹو ہیو اسٹرانگ فیتھ اینڈ ٹرسٹ ان اللہ بلیو ان اللہ سبمٹ اینڈ سرنڈر بفور دی ایٹریبیوٹس آف اللہ اینڈ ناٹ ایسوسیٹ پارٹنرز ود اللہ ویل اف یو ڈو دس دین اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ول ایکسپٹ your effort and that will be a small, small step in justifying the term khair e umma and allah subhanahu wa taala says before you the bani israel the jews and the christians were also given this great responsibility of playing the role of khair e umma but they forsake it, for, forsook it they forfeited it they did not care about it So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that except a few among them, the rest of all were defiantly disobedient and they incurred the wrath of Allah. And this is a fundamental duty on every believer. Whenever you see anything wrong happening, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, stop it with your hand. And if you think that you don't have the power to stop it with your hand, which only Allah knows and Allah only will judge that, 
then you will have to stop it by speaking out and if you feel that even you don't have that much of power to speak out which only allah will judge then at least you should feel the discomfort in your hearts ek kuft mehsoos hona chahiye dil ke andar and you should not turn a blind eye to it and walk off and say mere ko isse kya lena dena mai to jo hai nek ke kaam neki ke kaam karta hu ab log burai karte hain to mai kyun ja kar jhamele mein padna sorry this is not the attitude of a believer why should i honestly go and interfere and get on the bad books of the people let me mind my business and take care of myself with this is not allowed when you see an evil happening whether it be in your own house among your relatives in your workplace in your neighborhood in the masajids in any organization any institution or in the society or the world at large you are supposed to open your mouth and speak out you can't stay quiet to enjoy in good is far easier but to forbid from evil requires a lot of guts courage which every believer should possess because he is doing it only to please allah and what are the consequences of this he should not care for allah will take care of that if prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would not have forbid the people from shirk and from other crimes which they used to commit there would be no problem at all they would have accepted him wholeheartedly but it's only when he pointed fingers and told and called a spade a spade and told them very clearly that what they were doing was absolutely haram forbidden disliked by allah then only the problems began but we should be prepared for it and seek allah's help to overcome them as well so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says among the people of the book some were believers but most of them were defiantly disobedient la yadurrukum illa aza wa in yuqatilukum yuwallukum al-adbar thumma la yunsarun never they can harm you except a little hurt and if they fight you yuwallukum al-adbar they will turn away from you their backs thumma la yunsarun they not they shall be helped हरगिज वो नहीं नुकसान पहुंचा सकते तुम्हारा कुछ भी सिवाय कुछ ऐजा पहुंचाने के और अगर वो तुमसे लड़े तो फैल लेंगे तुमसे अपनी पीठ फिर नहीं वो मदद के जाएंगे सो अल्लाह सुबह नौ तला से यू गो हेड डू द वर्क ऑफ दावा एंजॉय वॉट इज गुड एंड फॉरबिड फ्रॉम इवेल एंड यू हैव स्ट्रॉन्ग फेथ इन अल्लाह दे कैन डू एनी थिंग मच even if they are going to do you will die as a martyr and what could be a better way of leaving this world than to die as a martyr so they cannot do any they cannot do much harm to you except a few hurtful words from them don't care about it allah says and if they come to a conflict with you they are not so bold to face you and they will not be helped by allah either ضربت عليهم الذلة انما سخفوا الا بهبل من الله وهبل من الناس وباء بغضب من الله وضربت عليهم المسكنه ذلك بانهم كانوا يكفرون بايات الله ويقتلون الانبياء بغير حق ذلك بما اسوا وكانوا يعتدون has been stamped upon them zillat disgrace aina ma sukhifu wherever they are found except with a covenant from allah and a covenant from the people wa ba'u bi ghazab min allah and they have drawn upon themselves a wrath from allah wa zuribat alaihim al maskana has been stamped upon them destitution zalika bi annahum that is because they used to disbelieve in the verses of allah wa yaqtulun al anbiya bi ghairi haqq and they killed the prophets without right zalika bima aso that is because they disobeyed wa kanu yatadun and were transgressors i repeat this translation follow it carefully has been stamped upon them disgrace wherever they are found except with a covenant from allah and a covenant from the people and they have drawn upon themselves a wrath from allah and has been stamped upon them maskana destitution 
that is because they used to disbelieve in the verses of allah wa yaqtulun al anbiya bi ghairi haq and they killed the prophets without right zalika bima asaw wa kanu yatadun that is because they disobeyed and were transgressors musallat kar di gayi un par zillat jahan pe bhi wo paaye siwaye ek ahad allah ki taraf se aur ek ahad logon se aur wo laute allah ke ghazab ke sath और मुसलत कर दी गई उन पर मोहताजी ये इसलिए कि वो थे इनकार करने वाले अल्लाह की आयतों का और उन्होंने कतल किया नबियों को ना हक ये इसलिए कि उन्होंने नाफरमानी की और वो थे हद से तजावज करने वाले सो वेन यू डोंट डू द वर्क ऑफ दावा वेन यू डोंट एंजॉय गुड एंड फॉर बिट इवल एंड यू फॉर फिट द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर विच अल्लाह है सेंट यू इन टू दिस वर्ल्ड एज बिलीवर्स इन वॉट है the consequence of this is in this world you will feel disgrace and humiliation aren't we muslim as a community not facing this throughout the world we are only to blame for this sorry state of affairs we must stop pointing fingers at others but look into our own selves auron ki taraf ungli uthana band kare aur apne gareban mein hum khud jhank kar dekhe ki hamari taraf se kya kota hi hui हमने क्या गलत गलती किए और जब हम दावती काम करने से रुक जाएंगे तो अल्लाह सुबह से सख्त नाराज होगा अल्लाह का गजब उतरेगा अल्लाह जो है मुसलत कर देगा हम पर मोहताजी अल्लाह हम पर मुसलत कर देगा रसवाई एंड पहली किताब डिड दिस दे डिसोबेड देवे ट्रांसक्रेस देवेंट इवन टू दिन किलिंग द प्रॉफिट so for all those crimes which they committed allah subhanahu wa taala says that they faced the wrath of allah and they faced the punishment in this world a larger punishment awaits them in the hereafter laisu sawa min ahlil kitabi ummatun qaimatun yatluna ayatillahi ana al-layli wa hum yasjudun not all are the same laisu sawa sab ek saath jaise nahi not all are the same among the people of the scripture there is a group of people khaimatun standing for truth yatluna ayatullahi ana al-layl reciting the verses of allah in the hours of the night wa hum yasjudun while they used to prostrate nahi sab ek jaise ahle kitab mein se bhi ek groh tha ek jamaat thi jo khaim thi haq par और वो पढ़ते थे अल्लाह की आयतों को रात की घड़ियों में जबकि वो सिजदा भी करते थे यू मिनु नबिल्लाफी we sari una fil khairat and they hasten in good deeds and those are among the salihin righteous wo iman rakhte hain allah par aur aakhirat ke din par aur wo hukum karte hain neki ka aur rukte hain burai se aur wo jaldi karte hain bhalai ke kamon mein yahi log salihin mein se honge wa ma yafalu min khairin falan yufaru wallahu alimum bil muttaqin and whatever they do any good and whatever they do any good falai yukfaru then not it shall be rejected wallahu alimum bil muttaqin and allah knows well the god fearing and allah knows well the god fearing aur jo kuch wo kare koi bhalai ka kaam to nahi uski naqadri ki jayegi aur allah khub janta hai parezgar logon ko to allah subhanahu wa taala says these are fundamental things believing in allah without associating partners with him enjoying what is right how will you enjoy what is right and forbid from evil when you know what and you do not know what is right and what is wrong and where will you get this information from the quran from the authentic teachings of the beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so first we need to empower ourselves with the knowledge of quran and the teachings of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah subhanahu wa taala says those people who believe in allah don't associate partners with them they fear the day of qiyamah wal yawm al akhir 
and they enjoin good and forbid evil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls such people as the Salihin. And these are the people who always jump at an opportunity wherever they can gather good deeds. Jab bhi johe neki ka koi mokha mila, to foreign usko johe hasil karne ki koshish karte hai. Or postpone neki karte hai, balke jaldi jaldi johe neki ha hasil karne ki koshish karte hai. They hasten and doing a lot of good deeds. So first is strong belief in Allah. Fearing the day of Qiyamah. Enjoining what is right. Forbidding from evil. And hastening in good deeds. Allah calls such people who possess these beautiful qualities as the Salihin. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, isn't it? To include us among the Salihin. But dua alone will not be sufficient. We need to foster these beautiful qualities in our lives. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in the process of doing these good deeds, whatever you do with the sole aim to seek the pleasure of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken it in record. Nothing will be rejected. Everything will be appreciated and given its due reward on the day of Qiyamah. And Allah calls such people as the God-fearing. And Allah knows such people thoroughly. May Allah SWT help us develop these beautiful qualities within our lives. And may Allah SWT help us to lead justifiably the term given to us as khair ummah And may Allah SWT keep us all united. Waqt with da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadu Allah ilaha illa anta. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.